Hello, Anselm Griffin here again with another YouTube tutorial featuring MATLAB. Apologies once again if the sound is not perfect and I'm having problems with my sound card at the moment. We're doing another YouTube tutorial today in MATLAB based on KTH tips and uh, texture segmentation. And I did one about a week ago with the old school method and this is the new school method and we'll see what I mean for this later on. So just to say there that's where most of this came from. Uh, I have a YouTube tutorial which I show you there. So texture making the old school method. And the old school method is grand, but you have to know your MS DOS directories and all that sort of stuff. So it's a little complicated. Some assumptions here. You know what grade level coefficient matrix is. You know what KTH tips is. I have to show you where I got. You don't need to know the directory structures. That's the big advantage over here. You know what training and testing is, you know what classification is, and we're using a bag of features to get the uh, features, and then we're using an SVM to uh, classify them. And you know what a confusion matrix is. And there are some slightly more, we're using the bag of words visual method. We extract the features of the image, sift, hog, surf, and orb. Described with the air down there very briefly, and we're using an SVM to do the classifier support vectors. Okay, so I can get rid of that. And I have that there, but before we go into that, let's just spread it here. There's the texture, image pose, and uh, scale. So if you're looking to download them, that's what they are there. There's the old school version, which I described last week. Uh, today's work came from here. These chips are heavily based on, so I just want to get the IP. And there's my old school method where I did last week. That's the 24th of June, 2020. Okay, so, so let's have a look at today's. The code is there, but I publish it because it takes a little while to do it. So we're going to run through it here. Okay, so textures and the varying illumination pose and scale. Sorry about that. Uh, there's the IP again, just to be absolutely clear. So I have stored my KTH tips. Uh, images or PNGs in this directory there, and then this is where MATLAB is important a lot. In the old school method, you'd have to be fairly familiar with MS DOS commands and get that all sorted out. But the advantage of image store, it's like a massive array, and you can think of all the images are in the array, but they need not necessarily be there at the same time. So if you had limited RAM. You may end up with a quarter of the images there and the other two quarters existing on the hard disk. But as far as your head is concerned or your brain is concerned, they're all in one vast array. So we've read all them in there. There's the location which we got there. Then we split them into 30% training and 70% for testing. Split each label. We call the bag of features. So your combination of hog, surf, orb, etc., and sift. Then we train on this line here. And then we get the confusion matrix. And then we get the mean of the leading diagonal of the confusion matrix. So let's scroll down here a little bit more, see how we get on. So there's the 10 types of uh, textures we had, aluminium foil, brown bread, corduroy, cotton, cracker, linen, orange peel, sandpaper, sponge, styrofoam. Using sift, orb, etc. That was over half a million features. We keep the top 80%. And then you use uh, K means clustering to sort of group them together. Oh, 
that uh, tells you it took 14 iterations to get within the, the accepted criteria to stop it. There we are. Training. Test set is coming up now. We evaluated 570 images. And I've got the confusion matrix twice. It, it, this is much prettier. We look along the leading diagonal 0 0.95, 0 0.7, 0 0.86, 0 0.54, not great, 0 0.95, much better, 0 0.77, etc. So the average accuracy going along the leading diagonal is 81%. Type the command to get the confusion matrix on its own. It's a bit uglier. It's not as well laid out as before. And there's, I got the mean of the leading diagonal, and that's 8088, which is the 81% we got up above. Hope that helps a little, and thanks very much for listening.